In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor's divider widget to make both horizontal and vertical dividers. Now, so that this actually makes sense, I've just put together a quick page so that we've got some stuff to work with. So first of all, let's start with horizontal dividers, which is the default with Elementor. What we need to do is come over here, grab our divider, and bring it on into the page. The way that I've got this set up is currently with a single section. This will work with uh, more than one section as well, though. And what you can simply do is grab your divider, drag and drop it in between the other elements that you have on the page. So for example, your titles and your text. So this has given us a nice horizontal divider. Let's edit it a bit. At the moment, under content, we see that we've got the width as 100%, so it's going all the way across the page. If I drag this back, you'll see that it's making that smaller. It's currently aligned to the left, but if I put it into the center, that'll obviously center it up for us on the page. Now, in addition to uh, being able to do it as a percentage, we could also do this as pixels, and then as I increase it, we can obviously get it to exactly the right amount that we want it across the page, but more often than not, I think you'll find that the percentage is gonna work the best for you. So I'm just gonna set this to, I think about 60. That'll do for the moment. And then we also have add element just down here, still under the content section of the divider. So now if I click text, we get that between the divider and that can come in quite useful as well. You can also put in an icon if you want to. Obviously choose what that icon's gonna be. We won't do that for now though, so I'll just get rid of it. But you know that it's possible. Now we can actually style our divider. So coming up to style, here we have the weight. So as I increase this, you'll see that it's obviously making this thicker for us. And you also have a gap, so that's gonna increase the space that we have here and here, if you want to. Bring this back there. And let's just drop this down to about three. And then obviously under the color, we can choose what color we want this to be. And if you want, if we come under the uh, advanced tab up here, we could also add in a motion effect. So if you have the free version of Elementor, you won't see motion effects, you will probably just see the entrance animation. But if you have Elementor Pro, just click into your motion effects and then you get the entrance animation down here. And then just as you can do with all the other elements that we have on the page, we could come in here and give this uh, something. So let's, let's say zoom in, for example. So then we get that effect. So let's move this over. So we could then obviously go back in and change the percentage and bring this over so that it all lines up if we wanted to. If you ever want to delete a divider, and for any reason you can't find it on the page, just remember that you can either right click and go to Navigator, or you can come just down here, find the Navigator option, and then you can find the divider within your page. So I know that it's in the first section, chuck under the columns, and there we have it. There's the divider. If I toggle this off, you'll see that it disappears, but it's still there. If you want to delete it, we can simply right click and delete it from here, and then it's gone. And that's really it for the uh, horizontal dividers. Now, something completely different is the vertical divider. So if we come down here, let's just say that we wanted to have a divider here between these two. Now, natively, you can't actually do this in Elementor, but I'm gonna show you how we can get around that. So the first thing we want to do is have another column. So if I just duplicate this column a second, and then I'm gonna delete the content like that. And now what we want to do is come up here to our column section settings. So I click into this, and here you'll find the column width. So we wanna make this something small, for example, 4%. And then when we do that, you see it automatically has changed this column because it has to fill 100% of the page. So what we do is come over now to this column section, change this to, uh, what did I say, 4% there. So that would be 48%. And then I want to change this one to 48%. And that means that this one is 4%. So now that we've done this, come back to our widget section, grab the divider as you would normally, and drag it on into that middle section. So now that we've done that, you can see that we have a divider, but it's very small and it's still horizontal. The way that we get around this is by going over to the advanced tab. Close this section here and come on down to custom CSS. Now I'd like to say I hate doing code. I had to learn it originally, in part at least, when I started out with WordPress, and page builders like Elementor make it possible to design websites without having to use it. 
which I love because I'm really not very good at code. But this is one of the rare instances with Elementor that we need to add some. Thankfully, it's very short. So all we need to do is put in selector, bracket, enter, transform, semicolon, uh, rotate, and I want to put this as 90 degrees. So bracket 90 DEG. You notice that it's then closed the bracket for me, so it's completed the code at this point. And you'll now see that our divider just up there has become vertical. So I can click update over here. And now what we can do is still under our divider settings, come on back to content. And now, instead of being on the percentage, we can switch over to pixels. We can increase what was the width, and it is now affecting the length. So we can do that. We can then go over to style, and if we wanted to, we could increase the weight a little bit, just like that. And just as before, we can come into color, change the color if we want to, and let's update that. So if we take a look at what that now looks like, we now have a divider that is in the middle. And of course, if we wanted to, we could now go and add a normal horizontal divider just here, and then we could create another one uh, just in the middle of this, and that way we could have a nice divider separation going on throughout the page. So that's it for dividers. There's really not much else to know about them. I hope you've really found that useful. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.